Christos. How are you today? Good. How are you? Good. Thanks for asking. Um, my name is Anna. I'm going to be the occupational therapist taking care of you today. We're going to go through and evaluate you and see how you enjoy your post surgery, okay? Okay. So you just got a pacemaker in, right? Yes. It's right here. Great. On your left side? Yes. Great. Thank you. And then um, today we're going to be doing the Barthel Index. What's that? It's a, an assessment that's going to be um, reviewing all a different types grooming, feeding, bathing, dressing, as well as um, transferring, functional mobility, and um, stairs, and bladder and bowel incontinence. Um, do you have any questions about the Barthel? No. Do I have to be, you know, doing anything? Yes. We're going to be walking through it. I'm going to be telling you step by step that I need you to perform. And if you have any questions throughout the whole thing or you need any rest breaks, don't hesitate to tell me. And we can um, take breaks from you. Okay? So you want to get your endurance up and going. You like you still are fatiguing, okay? Yeah, so sometimes I get tired, I need to rest for a little bit. Yeah, there could be some pain at times. Yeah, so make sure that you let me know and see me in the loop with your pain and everything, okay? All right, so we're going to begin today by taking your blood pressure just to make sure that um, everything is good and see where you are starting. So I'm going to use your right arm today. All right, your heartbeat is right in normal um, range for you. At 110 over 54. So that's normal? Yes, that's your normal. Okay. So you're in within healthy ranges. Um, your diabolic is on fit on the lower side, but you are within um, normal limits, okay? So we're going to just do the pulse ox real quick. Again, to get a uh, starting, um, you just want to put your finger in it right here. Perfect. And just let it rest. So how are you feeling today? Any pain or? Uh, no pain today. Feeling better. I'm glad to hear, Christos. All right. So your um, pulse is a at 70 right now, and your oxygen is at 95. percent It's very good, Christos. Okay. All right. So we're gonna start the Barthel index. Unless you have any questions. How do I do certain things? They keep talking about precautions. I don't even know what that means. Oh, okay. Well, um, thank you for letting me know. Is it having any to do with my medication? There are some. Um, mostly, it's gonna be on what you're going to be doing. So you want to make sure that you don't raise it past 90 here or here. So that would be a different task, such as uh, dressing, bathing, washing your hair, and stuff. You want to make sure that your left shoulder remains below 90 degrees, okay? Your right arm is free to move as pleases or as need be. Just be mindful of your left arm. You also want to make sure that you don't get your incision wet. So um, that's going to be a precaution for your doctor to give it to you. Because you don't want the stitches and everything in there getting wet and loosening up or getting infected. So how are we going to shower? We're going to be using a um, washcloth. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be going around that section and make sure that we don't soak that area with water, okay? You also need to be careful with washing your hair with that because of the, um, the incisions and you don't want to get those wet. Um, another precaution that you need to be aware of is that you don't want to lift more than five pounds on that arm. This is, um, you can have a ton of milk, like sure shampoo bottles or any, um, thing like that, don't pick a grand children Yes. So until clear, you want to make sure that you don't pick them up using your left arm, okay? All right. Um, there are but the right arm is fine. Yep, your right arm is okay. There are a few other precautions, um, such as being near like MRIs and um, sending over a, uh, a running car and a few other um, things like that. But I'll make sure that you have a full printout of the precautions, great. and we'll go over them step by step, okay? Yeah, my wife is here too. Oh, great. Yes, yeah, so we'll definitely talk to her about it. Um, so this way she's aware and can keep reminding you throughout your recovery, okay? Okay. So the main three that we're going to be aware of today is you don't want to pick it past 90, you don't want to get it wet, and you don't want to lift more than five pounds. Okay. Do you want to repeat that to me? So don't lift it above my head, mm -hmm. and don't lift up uh, five pounds or more. Okay. And, and the last one? Uh, I forget. 
you don't want to get the incision wax on okay, so don't get it wet. Yes. This is all for your left side, your right side will be okay, okay? Right. All right. So we're going to start with feeding. Um, I have a little snack right here. We're just going to open the container and put it onto the plate using the utensils. And if you get your fingers dirty, here's a little napkin for you, okay? You want to show me how you can do that? Sure. successfully able to open the container, cut the food, and bring it to the mouth, okay? So that's a good job, Crystal. Thank you. All right. So next we're going to move into the bathroom, and we're going to see how you are with bathing, grooming, toilet use, as well as transfer, okay? Okay. So do you want to show me how you can um, stand up here? <coughs> Be aware of your left arm. You don't want to use that as a weight-bearing thing because it's more than five pounds, okay? So you can either, yeah, push up with that, or you can cross your arms to then use your legs to make sure that you don't break that precaution. Great job, Christos. So, so now we're going to see how you can transfer into the tub bench. You've used this um, yesterday, correct, mm -hmm. with the occupational therapist? Yes. All right. So we're going to um, sit down. You're going to bring your arms, your legs around. Good job not breaking precautions with your left arm there, okay? So now um, we're going to see how you are bathing. We're going to simulate this. Um, use this washcloth and show me how you would um, bathe, okay? Oh, Karis, you got to be careful with that. The shampoo could be more than five pounds. Oh, yeah. Reaching with your left arm. So you want to make sure that you use your right arm for tasks like that, okay? All right, perfect, Crystal. All right. Be careful your incision site. Remember, you don't want to get that soaked or get soap in it because of the infections and um, loosening the stitches. Great. All right, good job, Christos. All right, so now we're going to transfer it out. I'll get that washcloth for you. Um, you're going to transfer it out. And if you could stand up, or real quick, I'm actually going to take your vitals one more time just to make sure that we're still doing okay. okay. If I could have that same finger again. Perfect. All right. So we're still within a little bit. Our pulse is increasing with the moving around and transferring. Great. But you were still within um, a good limit for your current yeah. surgery. I was starting to get tired. That's yeah. Good. All right. So just make sure you take your deep breaths in now as I take your... Um, your blood pressure, okay? This one into that arm. Okay. You can just rest it right there. All right. All right. Your pulse is going up, but it's still under that 20, um, 20 uh, beats per minute right. increase that we I uh, want to avoid, okay? All right, Crystal. So now let me st stand up for me, and we're going to see how um, we can use the toilet, okay? Mm -hmm. So if you want to sit down on the toilet and show me um, how you get on and how you get off. All right, perfect. Now if you want to get off for me. Ooh, be careful your left arm, Crystal. Oh, yeah. Yep, you got to make sure that you don't push or pull or lift more than five pounds with that arm, okay? So you can either cross both arms and stand up that way and use strictly your legs, like and that would be the safest way to get up. So great job, Carthos. All right. So now we're going to move over to the sink here, and we're going to uh, look at your grooming abilities and how you can brush your teeth and shave using the um, using these tools, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, Carthos. You want to show me how you can brush your teeth? Okay. Good job, Carthos. All right. And then a quick, quick shave for me. So it's good that you're using your right arm rather than your left arm. You did a good job at not breaking the precautions for that one, okay? All right. Perfect, Christos. Perfect. You did a very good job today going over um, the Barthel Index. So we're going to sit down and um, go over our 
results to see how you did today so we can plan our future ther uh, sessions together, okay? Great. So for feeding, um, you were independent with feeding. You were able to open the containers and um, cut the food appropriately and bring it to your mouth, which was very good. So you scored a 10 for that. Um, you were independent, okay? For bathing, however, um, you wanted to use your left upper extremity to pick up the... Um, pick up the shampoo and you wanted to lift it up to wash under, which is normal because that's how you've been bathing for the last how many years? Long time. However, yes. However, with your new precautions for the time being, we need to make sure that you stay safe while bathing. And then you don't use your left arm to um, pick up the shampoo and pick up the, um, and lift up to wash under and everything. You also need to be careful about getting that wet. Mm -hmm. um, if you're, if you're um, getting it wet, you could uh, lead to infections and loosening that site up and then there's going to be some complications that we don't want to go through, okay? So you just right. need to keep in mind how to do, like, how to safely perform a bathing task. So um, you're in, you were dependent for bathing. For grooming, however, you were independent. You were able to brush your teeth and shave um, and complete your, like, your hygiene uh, routine without needing reminders for, um, for breaking your precautions. You did that all very well, which you're very happy about. For dressing, um, you did the uh, that you did the task. However, you wanted to lift up your arm mm -hmm. and um, to put your head through the shirt, which is normal. But you have to keep in mind that there's other ways to do it. And like, if you hold it down, you could put your head through this way, so so you don't break those precautions. Okay. And we'll go over them further. Okay. Like this. Yep. You want to make sure that you're within within that range. Okay. No higher. So for dressing, we are a five. For needs help, but um, you could do most of it. For bowels and bladder, you are you have full confidence, and there's no um, issues that we have to worry about for that. For toilet use, um, you were able to use the toilet and transfer on and off the toilet. However, you did want to use your left arm to prop you up and um, stand back up, which is dangerous because your body weight is more than five pounds. Mm -hmm. So if we can't lift, push a full five pounds, you're pushing five pounds right here. Okay, so you okay. need to keep in mind. That there, you can stand up with both arms crossed or use your right side, but this is the safest way, okay? Mm -hmm. For transfers, you were able to sit to stand properly, transfer into the tub properly, and do other uh, transfers. However, you did want to break those precautions. So you are independent with it, but you do need verbal cues to remind you not to break those precautions, okay? Which is normal at your stage of recovery, and okay. we're going to make sure that we practice it. Yep. And then this way you uh, can have a safe recovery and discharge yeah. soon, hopefully, okay? Maybe that also, like, remembering it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Good job, Krista. Um, for mobility, uh, we watch you walk from here to the bathroom and back again. You did need a little bit of assistance because you are a little weak after surgery, but that weakness will go away, and same with that, um, that fatigue, okay? So uh, that's just going to come back naturally. I'm not concerned about that. Okay. Um, so we... You got to tend to walks with help with a person with physical help, okay? Um, for stairs, you are um, able to get up and down the stairs. However, you did want to reach with your left arm to prop yourself up and push yeah. use that. So you want to uh, use your right arm for those tasks rather than your left arm. I think I was just used to it over time. Yeah. But now I have to be careful. Yes, you have to be careful. But um, following all these precautions is going to get you back home and back to your grocery store quicker, okay? That's the deal. That is. All right. So your total score is a 65 out of 100. So during the initial interview, Christos was able to sit on the chair comfortably. Um, he was able to do sit-to-stand transfers without any difficulties. However, he did want to break the precaution with his left arm by pushing more than um, 5 pounds. Uh, this implies that Christos has good uh, postural control and uh, stability and strength in his lower extremities. Although Christos reported that he feels better than he did in the past six months, um, he still shows signs of fatigue and general weakness. As a result of this, um, intervention will be focused on increasing the patient's endurance and tolerance for, uh, during activities and um, teach him the precautions so this way he's able to implement these precautions without the help of a therapist or his wife present so he can um, return back home and back to his occupation safely and as soon as possible. Um, when Christos was... Uh, dressing and bathing, he wanted to pick up past 90. He also wanted to lift more than five pounds. And um, overall, he was able to complete many occupations. The main thing limiting him was the um, the not being completely aware of the precautions and the general weakness and fatigue. But all of this will be um, helped with 
throughout therapy, and thanks to the Barthel Index, we now know that Krista has, has a 65 out of 100 for the Barthel, and this will help guide therapy interventions from here on out.